Hi seafood lovers! A very warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Today we're going to make a delicious burger. And of course a seafood burger. Tuna burger, Japanese style. We use some lime mayonnaise, chuka wakame, we have radish, we have shiitake, we have teriyaki, we have avocado. Let's start building. So first we're going to cut the tuna very fine. I'm using albacore tuna, you can also say like white tuna, because this tuna species is one of the most sustainable ones. You can have skipjack or albacore, then you're in most ways you're safe. And guys, this fish, this albacore tuna is really oily, it, it's full of flavor, it's delicious. I'm cutting this by hand because then still when you taste this burger, you, you, you still have this bite, this beautiful structure. So now we add the tuna into a, a bowl. And then the first step is we use some togarashi, which is an assorted Japanese chili pepper mix. Just a tiny bit. Then we use one egg, chopped shallot. So we add the chopped shallot to the minced tuna and togarashi for the color, for the taste, for the bite. A piece of spring onion. And a bit of salt. And last but not least, I'm going to use some breadcrumb. Why? Because this will make the burger firm. So now you mix this all well together. And if you feel that, that it has still a bit too much, much moisture, you just add a, a bit extra of the breadcrumb. And then suddenly you feel that it's going to be firm and strong enough to build your burger. Take a handful of your mix. Look at this, beautiful. So now we're going to prep all the other lovely ingredients for this amazing burger. Some shiitake, a delicious mushroom often used in the Japanese kitchen. Some radish, some lettuce. I use iceberg lettuce because it has this delicious, crispy, watery, fresh bite. So now very important, the lime mayonnaise. We start with the zest. And use like the full lime. And don't forget to taste. Mm. Bit of salt, some extra salt. And a bit of pepper. Avocado, cut it in half, twist. Take out the seed and we sprinkle with a bit of lime juice uh, to avoid that the avocado is becoming a bit brown. So now we're going to cut the bun and I love it to grill it just very quickly to give this crispy bite. In the meantime I'm going to oil my burgers and I brush them on both sides. So let's start to grill the tuna burger. At the same time, I'm going to prep the shiitake. And always, guys, use a spatula um, to avoid that you're going to break your burger. Beautiful. You turn it around. And now, very important, we use the teriyaki. So we brush uh, the burger. The reason I'm not starting with teriyaki at the, at, at the very beginning is because there's a lot of sugar in teriyaki. This will caramelize and there is a chance that you will burn your teriyaki. So now we turn back the tuna again with the teriyaki side down. So you turn it around like by 90 degrees and you repeat the same thing on the other side. So you brush teriyaki on this side of your burger as well. With the shiitake we're going to add some teriyaki as well. Lower your heat because otherwise it will be caramelized too quickly. Check the burger and turn it around. Perfect, perfect. Shiitake, ready. Burger, almost ready. I just use a tiny bit of sesame seeds and roast them without any oil. It's just to heat them up because when the sesame seeds are, are, are warm, all the beautiful flavors are coming out. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Just make sure that the inside of your burger is, is warm. It doesn't necessarily need to be well done or fully cooked. Uh, that's one of the advantages of making seafood burgers. 
So now we're going to build this beautiful burger. Step number one, lime, mayonnaise. We take a piece of the iceberg lettuce. Take just a tiny bit of this chuka wakame, which is a Japanese seaweed salad. And now the hero ingredient, this beautiful, beautiful tuna burger on top of it. Shiitake, avocado parts, some radish, spring onion. I take the sesame seeds. And now the other side of the bun, lime mayonnaise. Wow. So then we use this cocktail stick or skewer. Radish. So guys, try to beat this burger. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you soon for next episode on Fishy Friday. Delicious. Thank you.